The key thing, and this is a, an ongoing question for operators, is what their role is in the value chain, in the overall value chain for Internet of Things, M2M services. Now clearly they have the basic connectivity revenues from, from cellular, but it's trying to see what else they can provide along, alongside that. Um, so I think there are th a few things that we're looking at and how we're trying to help them. The first is actually how they defend those connectivity revenues, particularly against these new low power wide area networks. Um, so we can see, so even just out here by our office, um, each of the, the parking bays has a parking sensor and that's using some sort of low power wide area network to, um, uh, to give information on whether the bay is being used or not. So that's an example of essentially competing connectivity types which could be uh, an opportunity for operators. So we've been doing a lot of work on that low power wide area network, the LPWA issue, um, looking at the various different technologies. Um, so there are the uh, technologies using the unlicensed spectrum like Sigfox and LoRa, um, looking at the various efforts for standardizing uh, technologies. So one option around the low power variants of, of LTE. Um, and so we've, been, we've, we've sized the market for each of the different vertical opportunities. So that could be around smart cities. Um, the parking bays is one example. Smart street lights is another. Waste management is another. Um, there are logistics or track and trace, so it could be pet tracking or, or bike tracking. Or so there's lots of potential areas that um, LPWA could fit in um, that could be additional connectivity revenues for operators. Um, the question that they have around that is how big is this opportunity, is it worth pursuing, um, given that the connectivity revenues per connection are likely to be one dollar a year maybe, so much lower than traditional re revenues. Um, so that's one issue that we've been helping operators in. Um, the other is around what extent do they bec do operators become vertical market solutions? How much should they go into um, a a providing end-to-end -end solutions for agriculture or for healthcare or for automotive? Um, so one area of our research has been looking at rather than trying to become a vertical expert because it clearly if you look at something like healthcare or agriculture there's lots and lots it's not one market there are lots and lots of different markets with lots and lots of, with very specific requirements um, if you take agriculture if you're growing nuts you need to know all about nuts if you're growing fruit you need to know all about fruit and these things are, are not areas of expertise that telecoms operators have um, what they do have and where they can play a role is providing much more of these platform services. Um, what are the common capabilities that agriculture and healthcare and automotive all, all need that telecoms operators can provide? And that plays much more to their strengths in terms of um, building on existing capabilities um, as well as building things that have scale um, that can go across these different vertical markets. So, the first again is connectivity, how can they provide multiple connectivity types both from their own networks and also from other networks, it could be from satellite, it could be from LPWA, it could be from various local area networks. Um, the second is then things like application platforms. So we've seen lots of operators uh, announce early stage deals with platform vendors like Cumulosity, like Thingworks, like Plat1. Um, where again, they're not providing, the telecoms operator isn't providing the full end-to-end -end solution in the vertical market, it's providing the, the common capabilities that work across different vertical markets. So application platforms, another area of that. Um, and then there can be other examples of things like um, hosting, um, billing, even for operators that have, the, have those capabilities, things like professional services. So we think there's lots that telecoms operators can do on a horizontal layer without necessarily becoming experts on fruit farming. Um, and then the third area is looking at some of the biggest vertical markets to see where telecoms operators could play a role, where they could provide end-to-end -end solutions. So we've written reports on connected car, um, we've done one more looking at the, the overall connected car opportunity, getting deals with the big motor manufacturers, but also we're looking at um, for operators that aren't necessarily tier ones, that aren't going to have a deal with BMW or, or, or Ford, where the other opportunities in, in connected car lie. So it's not just about Vodafone, it's not just about AT&T, there are other opportunities there that we're looking at. We have also written reports on um, things like smart cities and we're continuing to research there. Um, healthcare is another topic. Um, so looking 
where selectively operators can provide end-to-end -end solutions that make sense and get them a greater share of that overall value chain.